one, the Southern Baptist Convention is set for a landmark vote today on whether to ban churches with female pastors. Nearly 10,000 church members are in Indianapolis for the Southern Baptist Annual Convention, which overwhelmingly voted Tuesday to expel a Virginia congregation that believes women can be pastors. Emily has been following the convention for us. Uh, that vote could be an omen for what's to come from the convention today, isn't it? It certainly could be. Uh, the delegates began their annual convention this week with 92% of their messengers voting to approve kicking that Virginia church out. The church is called First Baptist Church of Alexandria, and it does allow women to serve in pastoral roles. There was some debate over women in associate pastor versus senior pastor positions, but the bottom line is women are not allowed to serve in these roles at all because it's not in line with the church's beliefs. And the voting representatives overwhelmingly sided with upholding the gender rules that ban women from these roles in the church. Today, the delegates may double down on that rule, banning churches with female pastors from being part of the Southern Baptist Convention and writing it into their constitution, Anna. So I understand this is just one sect of Southern Baptists. It's not all Southern Baptists. How likely is it that the Southern Baptists vote to ban all female leadership um, from their ranks? Is this, is this something that's going to happen? I mean, it is looking pretty likely. If last night's vote means anything, it may even be near unanimous of a vote today. The SBC already bans female pastors, so this amendment to their constitution would just strengthen that rules enforcement. That Virginia congregation that they just kicked out yesterday has been around since the 19th century and has donated millions of dollars to the church's causes. So this issue of allowing women to serve in pastoral roles appears to be a pretty serious sticking point for the church members. This proposed amendment to the SBC's constitution already had preliminary approval from representatives last year, and today's vote is just the final step. More than 10,000 members are registered to take part in today's decision. And like I said, Anna, pretty likely that this could be approved. Yeah, well, I had an interview yesterday with women on either side of the, the argument there. And I said, look, you know, what would you say if, if you had a daughter who said she was field felt like she was called to be a minister, called to the ministry, and she said, I'd talk her out of it. Going to be interesting to see that message that they're sending with yeah. this vote today. Emily, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.